Uh, this is the quickest video ever about how the web inspector works. A lot of times people who are product managers or non-programmers or even MBA students um, really can benefit from understanding that there's this thing called the web inspector. So the web inspector is in Chrome. It's actually in a lot of different browsers, but I would always suggest using Chrome. And what we can do with the web inspector is really change any single element on the page. Let me show you from the start how to do it. Let's say I wanted to change the number of students that learn to code here. I could essentially just highlight it there and then right click inspect and what the web inspector is going to do and also this is pre-installed in chrome you don't have to install anything to do this it's just there for free uh, is it's going to find some html code that you can go into and i can basically edit it right if i wanted to here and i can say sixteen thousand three hundred, and then press enter MBA students learn to code and I can close the web inspector and now that's what the web page says. Now, did it save this? No. As soon as I refresh, this goes away. So what actually happened and why is that important? Well, what happened is this gives me a way to really test out the page. So if I open up again, I could test out different headlines, how they look, how they fill the page up. I could take a screenshot if I wanted to, right, on the Mac or a PC, and uh, to show a designer and say, hey, this is actually what I meant. Because not only can you go and change the text or even highlight something and delete it altogether or undo it, but you can also go in and then if I wanted to, I can grab it and come over here and I could change the CSS. I could say the color of this element should be blue and now it's blue you can imagine i can make it any color i wanted to uh also if i got a little crazy and wild i could make the entire site smurf basically basically just blue and hard to read or it could be america right wow there we go uh so anything's possible but of course when i refresh uh it all goes away uh, i showed this to my mom once uh we were looking at her boss's website and she was like no don't break it well no it doesn't break you just refresh it and it goes away uh cool so it's a good way to test and to show uh for non-developer for non-programmers to show what you mean when you're describing hey move this over here what if we did this well, you can try things out uh, and it's pretty easy to use so that's the web inspector there's so much more that you can do with it i'll put some links down below about how to get started also it really helps to have a html and css background and it's really easy in the one or two weeks you can learn how to just do some basics html and css i'll put some links down below how to get started with that as well so i hope you enjoyed this best of luck